Hi puzzle lovers, I've been not puzzling for almost two months now and I've done no videos and uploaded only one I think in the last two months so I had a nice summer break but now three days till the world championship uh, I will fly to Madrid on Wednesday morning so I have to prepare and I want to give a short recap video about my preparations, my thoughts about the World Championship. I've been several times to Sudoku World Championships and Puzzle World, Champion World Puzzle Championships. So I think I've been 10 times to a World Puzzle Championship. But don't get confused, we do puzzles like these there, so it's logical puzzles like Sudoku, some organizers get fancy and give you a 3D Sudoku in a team round or such a 3D object and you have to assemble it, but usually it's uh, logical puzzles like Sudoku, Kakuru and other things. Yeah. Uh, I think it was 16 years ago that I went to my world first championship of this kind, but now it's the premiere for me. It's the first world jigsaw puzzle championship and of course we do jigsaw puzzles there. Yeah, I have written down some notes. Ah, yeah, what is my plan for this video? I want to give you some overview about my preparations. I want to tell you my teams, I found teams already, and uh, I will talk a little bit about my puzzles. So I thought I will go through all of them that I did in 2023, uh, but I realized that most of the puzzles are not even in my apartment because they belong to my sister, they are given away or something like that. So I will do that perhaps uh, in more detail at the end of the year. Okay, my preparations, uh, of course I will take some foam boards with me, I have thought about the opening tools, so most probably I'll just take a key, I don't know if you can see it, or I will perhaps try this, I don't know, how do you call it, pin, or my drawing triangle. Because we could get puzzles that are not shrink wrapped, like this wooden puzzle from Ravensburger. I don't know if you can see it, but there are stickers there that close it. Three stickers, one, two, three, four. Perhaps I'll take a photo and insert it. Yeah, and opening a shrink wrap, I don't need any tools. I'm faster with my uh, technique of opening with the hands. But st those stickers, yeah, I think I will just try what is best and I've not trained it really, but I've used this for shrink wraps. Okay, uh, of course I will take my video uh, equipment and perhaps I will take my uh, solving videos. I will not do videos about all the things going around, but I think I will record my solving times. Okay, my teams. Of course, I'm competing for Austria as an individual. There are nine Austrians. I'm, I've landed in Group C together with another Austrian. I don't know her. Uh, the, fastest, the faster of us two will probably claim the Austrian spot and the second uh, yeah, we'll have to be fast enough to reach the semi-finals. It will not be easy, so I will be very, very happy if I reach the semi-finals. Uh, but we will see. Uh, for pairs, I'm competing for Luxembourg. So I'm competing together with Catherine. Uh, we are in the pairs group A and uh, we have found each other uh, through the website so we don't know each other. Uh, 
for the team competition, I'm competing for the country of Switzerland. So it's again me, Catherine and Sarah and Daniel. Uh, of course, we all don't know each other. Yeah, I'm very excited because it was uh, very late that uh, we found each other and that we will even uh, compete, uh, we will even have a team t-shirt which was produced I think by Sarah herself uh, and I, I love the t-shirt, I will insert a picture of it and our team is called Svoutlack. So SV for Switzerland, out for Austria and Lux for Luxembourg. Okay, my training schedule. I don't want to go through all the videos. I just show the small seven piece, small seven piece wooden kiwi that I've built. I've built some small puzzles, uh, 99 piece thank you puzzle. Perhaps I should show it, it's in a very nice box. Then several small Ravensburger puzzles, a panda, a cat and a Piatnik puzzle, also a cat, with 54 pieces each. Actually, my time, my piece per minute count of this panda is the same as Alejandro does for a 500 piece puzzle. So if I keep up the speed that I have for this panda puzzle with 50 pieces, if I have the same speed for a 500 piece puzzle, then I have a chance to get world championship, event world champion. Of course, <laughs> that's not possible for me. Uh, then I have several 100 piece puzzles here. Uh, I will go through the four of these uh, from slowest to fastest uh, and I will insert a screenshot of my all my times for this year. So I think I've solved 50, no 40 puzzles that were new to me this year and I've put them in an Excel sheet. Okay, the slowest one is this nice challenge, nice Ravensburger puzzle from the challenge series. I've done a video about it, it's the most popular on my small, small video channel. It's about the Gillini, Gillini, Gillini. And it was fun, but very difficult. It took me approximately six hours. I don't see it. Yeah, a little bit less than five, six hours. This one was actually the first puzzle. It's called Puzzler's Palette. The first puzzle I did in 2023. I started with recording. Uh, with this puzzle. I've never shown the footage uh, and it was a really very difficult puzzle. I started with the red pieces and I struggled the first hour I, I did build practically nothing but then I moved faster and it took me also almost six hours. So then I will show you two more recent puzzles which were very very beautiful. This puzzle that I got for birthday as a birthday present uh, it's called golf around the world it's your graphics it's random cut so irregular shapes and it took me three hours and 12 minutes and today I've built I've built another Cellini puzzle I plan to upload this footage and say two months time so after the world championship and I tried to since it's a rather easy image I tried to uh, set up my my new 1000 piece record my personal record and I failed by 23 seconds so I was 23 seconds slower than ships in the harbor ship in the harbor that I uh, solved in 2 hours 41 minutes and 39 seconds. This failed miserably. No, joking of course. As you see the puzzle here. It was so fun, it was nice to sort, easy to build and 
it took me less than three hours, which is very good for me for a 1000 piece puzzle. But now let's go to the 500 piece ones. I have several puzzles that I've solved in over one and a half hours. As you perhaps know, we have one and a half hours time in the individual division to solve a 500 piece puzzle. Uh, I failed with this city puzzle, we in a city puzzle, but there was the poster is not the same as the image, so this was very difficult. I failed with the wooden puzzle, uh, but I uh, did that quite fast, but of course with irregular shapes, wooden puzzle, one and a half hours is not enough. I failed with three mystery puzzles where I did not know at all what the uh, image was. I did videos about that on that, uh, so they are on my channel, and I failed the one and a half hour mark for this polygon lion. So I know the times now after puzzling, I, I read it up, the times from Judy from Addicted to Puzzles and I think it was also solved by Wiki from Wiki Makes and Builds and Wiki was uh, a little bit slower than me and Judy rocked us, she solved very fast and this took me 1 hour 36 minutes right away. Uh, this is very difficult, rather dark and I did not manage to solve it in one and a half hours the first time I solved it again, then it was possible. This puzzle, which is called Vintage Still Life, I solved today. It took me one hour and 14 minutes. That's quite an ordinary time for me, so one hour 14 minutes for a rather difficult puzzle, so not very difficult, but it's very similar colors, lots of browns, lots of greens and lots of yeah, lightish, how do you call it? Yeah, I, I don't know it in, in English, but uh, just similar colors and uh, this took me one hour, as I said, 14 minutes, 39 seconds. I'm quite pleased with this. So this very recent puzzle that I did today. A little bit faster I was for the colorful townhouses. Uh, that was the final puzzle of last year's World Championship, which took me one hour, 13 minutes and 23 seconds. Uh, I did a video about this. And yeah, then I have three more puzzles that I did the last three or four days. The first of them is my loyal friend. It, this was one that took longer than one hour and ten minutes, namely one hour, eleven minutes and three seconds. I did not find it too difficult and not too easy, just in the middle, and I'm quite, quite pleased. One hour, eleven minutes. I won't complain about that. And then two more puzzles, very recently done. Uh, this one looks very difficult at the first sight because it's a lot of reddish here, lots of dark colors here, and it's uh, a little bit of, of the sea. But actually the gradient is very easy, so I've seen several video YouTubers, uh, I've seen several videos of YouTubers that did it very fast and I also had a good time, namely 1 hour 7 minutes and 19 seconds. So this puzzle is much easier than you would think and again 1 hour 7 minutes, very happy with it. And finally the fastest of them that I will show you today, also done I think 3 days ago, is this puzzle called something with maritime, maritime flare. Uh, also a puzzle that looks not too easy because it's a lot of blues, a lot of brownish and again this color which I don't find the name for. Um, I think I will know the color, how you tell it in English after I turn off the camera. Uh, and yeah, I did this again 
in a similar time, 1 hour 7 minutes and 13 seconds. So I've done several puzzles faster than 1 hour and 10 minutes. My fastest time that I showed on my YouTube videos is London Postcard with 1 hour 4 minutes and 47 seconds. I did this in January, I think, so it's a, one of my very first puzzles, London Postcard. And in July I tried New York postcard. I have, have footage but I've never uploaded it. It's a puzzle of my sister and I was sure if I ever go uh, uh, below one hour this is the puzzle because London postcard is very easy. I liked it. Uh, New York postcard looks very similar and yeah, I failed. One hour, zero minutes and 55 seconds. So I have several others, puzzles from my sister that I solved and I will show it in a insert colorful village, educa puzzle, one hour, five minutes, 42 seconds. Cat puzzles, approximately the same time, one hour, five minutes. So I'm reaching the one hour, five minutes time for very easy puzzles, but I've never managed to solve a puzzle under one hour. Perhaps at the World Championship. I'm not very optimistic, but who knows? Uh, I'm quite optimistic that I can finish my puzzle in one hour, 30 minutes. That is very nice. I will be satisfied with whatever outcome there is. I will have fun also in the team and pairs competition. In the team uh, competition, Catherine from uh, Luxembourg must translate between uh, the Swiss and Austrian partners because we don't really share language. I don't speak French and Sarah and David are from the French part of Switzerland. But we will have fun and puzzling, I think, goes without a lot of words, although I talked a lot. So that is everything I want to say today. I will make the video very easy to edit, so I will not put many inserts, only those that I have promised, so that I can upload the video right now, so today, Sunday, and hope to see you in Spain. Uh, you can comment if you won't be there and uh, have seen something in the video that you enjoyed or uh, have a comment on and yeah, wish me luck. I think I will need it. See you!